about the speech. So my sincere request is please laugh at appropriate places. <laughs> As I sit on my brand new Harley Davidson bike, a hot, tall girl in a short skirt, looking exactly like Deepika Padukone, who climbs on my back seat, <laughs> placing her hands on my six-pack abs, I mean, my family pack abs, <laughs> and whispers in my ears, Darling, let's go. <laughs> then I suddenly bend down and start my bike like an auto. <laughs> Wake up! Yells my father, putting an end to my Masala I think. Dear Toastmaster for the day, fellow Toastmasters and guests, I have this dream every night. <laughs> Sometimes, two, three times in the same night. <laughs> I always wanted to be a boy. I mean, I am a boy. <laughs> but I wanted to be the dream boy, the play boy. Boy! <laughs> I don't know why, but I desperately wanted to get married when I was in class two. <laughs> After considering all the options, I finalized on row number 43 on Swapna. <laughs> 13, 17, 19. I mean, she could recite the most complicated mathematical multiplication tables of 13, 17, and 19 in the reverse order. <laughs> what more do you need for a happy marriage? <laughs> I went ahead and proposed the idea of getting married. Any normal girl would have said she will have to ask her mother. A modern girl would have said she will have to ask her boyfriend. <laughs> but Swapna was so different. She said, we'll ask the school Aya. <laughs> Aya! <laughs> Asking Aya changed my life forever. The Aya told Swapna's mother, my mother, Aya's mother, who was made in the grandfather's house. Her husband, who was our school auto driver, and her brother, who was a vegetable vendor in our street. <laughs> Probably because of this embarrassment, my father, who was a staunch believer in Mahatma Gandhi, suddenly started believing in Saddam Hussein. <laughs> and my tender leg pieces turned out like KFC's grilled chicken with juicy brown stripes. <laughs> I was thrown into a boys' school. And then a boys college, forget about women. It was impossible to find the footprint of a female insect. <laughs> <laughs> then when I joined engineering, and I got to know it was a co-education college, <laughs> I was as happy as if I was appointed as the lady styler for Kingfisher Airlines. <laughs> Lecturers were like encounter specialists posted in a Maoist stadium. <laughs> Four years of engineering. <laughs> then when I started working, there were absolutely no restrictions. But there were too many reservations. It is easy to find a TV without a set-top box connection, but impossible to find a girl who is single and not in a relation. <laughs> Let me tell you the truth. I never really had the confidence to walk up to a girl and talk to her, make a conversation. I desperately wanted to get rid of this fear. And the first thing I did was try each of those products that are supposed to boost your confidence. <laughs> Believe me, I ate everything from Dabar Chaman Prash <laughs> to Sai Baba Temple Ash. <laughs> My confidence never increased, my circumference did. <laughs> then I spoke to my best friend, Bulusu Chaitanya Kumar, in short, Buchko, about my problems. 
which who told me that it is essential for me to complete CCCL. <laughs> CCCL stands for Crash Course from Crush to Love. <laughs> he told me about something called pickup lines. It seems they are used as conversation starters with women. So, for example, you walk up to a girl and say, Is your father a terrorist? The girl shoots an angry look at you. Then you immediately say, No, no, otherwise I don't know how he could make a bomb like you. <laughs> See? Right then, you have an opportunity to make a conversation. I wanted to try this. I immediately walked up to your girl and said, Is your father a terrorist? <laughs> Gave such an angry look, I forgot the remaining part. <laughs> Vijay, let me tell you, I took your idea. Project 4, how to say it, I tried saying it. She said, I know Project 5, your body speaks. <laughs> then Muchku told me, why don't you join those masters? Because one, your confidence definitely improves. And two, there are a lot of women in Toastmasters, so... <laughs> Believe me, it has been two years in Toastmasters. And there are three kinds of women in Toastmasters. One, the motivational type. The moment you tell them, I love you, they say, Wow, Kishore, isn't love a beautiful thing? But just don't stop with me, love everybody else. <laughs> Two, the humorous type. No matter what you tell them, they have a single response. Are <laughs> sure you're so funny? And finally, majority of women fall into this category called the evaluation type. <laughs> Those masters, put on your best clothes, wear your best smile, pick up the best class in town and write a poem with the greatest words of Shakespeare and pour your heart out before them. And tell them, hey, I love you. And they would say, those master Kishore in particular, I am very particular. <laughs> your opening was brilliant, you had some flowers and all. But when you were proposing, you had to bend down on your knees. <laughs> your body language needs it. <laughs> Masters, I still haven't found my dream yet, but I have my hope and I have a dream. It's life without hope and a dream. Even today, every night, as Deepika sits behind me, puts her arms around me and says, Darling, uh, thank you, and uh, I'll just take one more minute. Uh, thanks a lot uh, for uh, the response. I just wanted to share something today. Uh, nine years back, uh, the first time I heard about uh, Toastmasters was from a friend who was uh, uh, in college, uh, who was studying in CMS, uh, and I was studying in uh, computer science management. And a year, a year later, the first ever Toastmasters meeting I walked into was Bangalore Toastmasters uh, Club meeting that used to happen in uh, St. Joseph School of Commerce. I still remember the meeting so vividly. Like, even before the meeting started, uh, John Bosco was going around asking all the male members that if the next week they don't come with a tie, he will bring a rope and he will be tying them. <laughs> Believe me, I was afraid that he might be there today and I got <laughs> Every time I tried to wear the tie, it started raining. Because in the last 10 years, I have never put on a tie. And another problem is I don't even know how to tie the knot. Maybe this is the reason why I am still dreaming and not able to tie the knot. <laughs> another thing that I vividly remember was, I think Naveen was uh, the MC that day. And the theme of the day was an evening in Brussels. I still remember uh, even the thing. And uh, last week was uh, delivering the presidential address. And he did an amazing start saying that, uh, the longest I have ever travelled in my life is still Delhi. People are asking me to speak about Brussels, what can I speak? And then he went on to speak about travelling and it was a wonderful experience. Then uh, a young lady came up to give a presentation on uh, energy conservation. And she was struggling to get her slides running, but the uh, projector wasn't working that <coughs> But still seamlessly she went ahead, she gave the entire presentation without the slides. 
and she ended with a smile saying like probably God purposefully made the projector not to work because I was talking about energy conservation and I should not be using the lamps. So this way probably I, I conserved a little bit of energy. And believe me, the next postmasters meeting I attended was five years later because I was busy with a number of uh, other things. But even today, I, uh, if there is an inspiration why I joined postmasters and I have been doing something, it's definitely Bangalore uh, postmasters. So uh, as a small club, uh, uh, Banjara postmasters. We, are, we generally uh, explain ourselves as a middle class club with 20 members, a little budget. But when we seek inspiration, we look to clubs uh, like you and you have been doing a great job. Uh, so thanks a lot uh, for all uh, that you have been, for all the uh, support and help. And over to you.